Well, here we are in the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe in Strasbourg, but the big news today comes from London, where the Supreme Court ha has just ruled that the UK government can't implement the notice to withdraw from the European Union, the Article 50, without parliamentary legislation. This is a fairly devastating defeat for the UK government and hugely complicates their ideas on withdrawal from the European Union. Because parliamentary legislation is more than sending a letter to Brussels. It involves a, a process which has to go through both the House of Commons and indeed the House of Lords. Uh, for example, it doesn't go through in the nod. And the Scottish National Party is the third biggest party in the House of Commons have tabled 50 amendments already in order that we say should be debated on the substantive issues of what should be done before it's even thought to send the Article 50 Brexit letter. For example, there should be a full economic assessment of the implications. For example, the devolved administration should be consulted through the the Joint Ministerial Committee before any such thing is done. There should be a full white paper published before you uh, end the UK's relationship with the European Union. Uh, so the government are moving into very choppy waters indeed and their previous assumption they could just wave this through ha has been rendered as of nothing by the Supreme Court judgment. Now there was a second part of the Supreme Court judgment which said that the government wasn't forced to consult with the devolved parliaments in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. What that demonstrates is that the previous conventions and assurances and promises and commitments that had been made to Scotland by previous governments in terms of the strength of the relationship with the United Kingdom are actually not worth the paper they're written on. But of course, just because the government doesn't have to abide by the Seoul Convention doesn't mean they shouldn't. And Theresa May as Prime Minister has promised that she would treat the devolved administration of Scotland as an equal partner in the United Kingdom. Uh, and therefore the SNP in the Westminster Parliament will be laying down a motion which says that she should be as good as her word and that she should not proceed with Article 50 until she has the unanimous agreement of the Joint Ministerial Committee comprised of the UK Government and the devolved administrations. So exciting times in the Supreme Court in London with ramifications for here in Strasbourg, for Brussels, for the whole of Europe, but basically a major defeat for the UK government in their attempt to rush through the UK's withdrawal from the European Union. And by and large, encouragement to those like Scotland who voted overwhelmingly to maintain our status as a European nation.